So this is gas fired power plant. We want to get this. And <laughs> we want to get this working. So let's go. What's up everybody, it's Pablo1713, hi and welcome in Anno1800, the Arctic Guide part number 2. So we are on the iceberg and we're gonna try to set up our outpost in here to start extracting our gas. And thanks to that we'll be able to have our gas-fired power plant in the other cities. So before we're gonna start in here, again, we need to get ourselves a little bit more prepared. Because first we're gonna need some additional supplies to supply the city and build a lot of buildings. So first of all, we're gonna need to have some Lost Expedition scrap. And it is right in here in Trading Port, I'll show you right in here. So this is Lost Expedition scrap. And we are getting it by going into this foggy area on the Arctic and by discovering those crates. And those crates are actually those Lost Expedition scrap. So when I'm gonna pick it up, we're gonna have additional two. So you're gonna get some random numbers, so as you can see we'll find the next one, this time we got 5, and so on and so on. And we're gonna need to have, right now, at the beginning, 60 of them, and in total we're gonna need 110. So that's a lot, and that's a lot of searching, but right now I'm gonna leave my airship right in here, I got plus 12, and I already have in my warehouse right in here 70 pieces, which will be enough for me at the start. As I said, I'm gonna need 110, so later on I'm gonna go back in here and search for more. But, in the meantime, we're gonna also need some additional supplies. So we're gonna go to the old world, and I'm gonna go right in here into my Empire Strikes. And I got my ship ready in here to load, and we're gonna need a lot of steel beams. So we're gonna get about 150 steel beams, that should be way than enough. And then we're gonna need additional stuff. So I'm gonna take 50 fishes also, so steam motors, we're gonna need another 50 of them, and also we're gonna need steel. So you're gonna need to have 150 pieces of steel beams, 50 pieces of fish, 50 steam motors, and also 50 steel. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna bring it back to our Arctic, so let's go to the Arctic please. And also we're gonna visit the New World. So we're going to the New World, and you probably have this big island in the new world because you had to set up this to get some additional items so let me just show you this looks really beautiful beautiful city very peaceful okay <laughs> let's continue sorry for that okay so we're gonna need also i got my ship ready in here also we're gonna need 50 pieces of caoutchouc so we're gonna take caoutchouc as well and we're just gonna deliver this to the arctic as well so go to the arctic okay Okay, so we are back on our iceberg and now we want to place our trading port. But as you can see, the construction menu is actually locked and we cannot take any building to check the grid in here. But there's so there's a small trick. All you have to do is deselect the airship first, then right mouse click and there's gonna be this small menu, menu where you can just click any item, for example this explorer shelter, and thanks to that you'll have this grid. So thanks to that you'll be able to tell how far you can actually move this airship to get the good point for your trading port. And what's the best location for the trading port? For sure not in the center. I made this in the beginning of my playthrough and that was a big big mistake. So the best way is to place it somewhere outside of the city. So for me it will be somewhere in here. I was trying to find the place in here but unluckily as I will show you getting my airship Altitude. here it will not fit, so I am unable to place this right in here because that was my idea to place it right in here, but unluckily, as you can see, it is impossible to place it anywhere in here. So for me, it will be the best way to get it somewhere in here, so far away from the center where I will build the city. So I will just try to get this airship far, far away to the left and find the best point. Yes, so this is the best point to bring it up so if I'll just right mouse click once again to add the shelter you'll see that it is impossible to move it anywhere 
more to the left so so this is the place where i will build my trading port so far far away from the center and what to build this of course our airship needs to have eight steel beams and 10 pieces of timber and also four influence points so right now i have 27 a surplus so i don't have to worry much about this but on my airship i have as you can see 150 pieces of timber and also 40 pieces of steel beams when you're gonna have this trading port the construction menu will unlock so thanks to that you will have all the buildings again available so let's turn on the blueprint mon so now the blueprint is on so you can see that we can place and not build anything so just the blueprint and how we're gonna build everything so first check the design of your island so on the left side i have two gas deposits and on the right side i have two gas deposits as well so my idea will be to place a heater that will be able to heat up those two gas deposits on the left side and also two deposits on the right side so something like this and then there's another thing that in the middle of the city we're gonna need arctic lodge so again we're gonna need 20 influence points so to build this so make so sure that you have enough safe. influence points because this will help you in this design so as you're gonna see i'm gonna try to place the arctic lodge somewhere in between and what more important those two buildings so the heaters need to be inside of this range so i'm gonna need actually to place them a little bit closer so i'm gonna place it somewhere right in let me just build the road and i can also right mouse click to get the road really quickly so if i'll place it right something like this and you already see that i need to move this heater also so i'm just gonna delete this and place it somewhere in here now it should be in range for sure and the second ones will be somewhere in here and it should also be in range right now as you can see so now we're gonna need to check if it's gonna be far enough for those deposits so we're gonna go to technicans menu and we're gonna go and find gas mine and we're gonna try to make sure that this is gonna cover every deposit in here so I'm just going to double safe. check what will be the best area to build this. So probably this will be the best one. And again, uh, because we are in the blueprint mode, I can build it. And then I'm just going to check if this is far enough. Yes, this is far enough. So I can build three of them in here. So I'm going to do the same on the left side. I'm going to take the gas mine and try to find the furthest way that I can build this. And cover every deposit that I can. So this will be far not far enough for sure so as you can see i cannot build this so it will not be efficient so i'm gonna build it a little bit more to the top so something like this and this should be enough yes it is far enough so this is gonna be the second one and then we're gonna go in here and this is gonna be tough because probably i will be unable to get everything in here so probably i'm gonna use only two deposits but let me just check first in here so this is not far enough so I'm just gonna again build this once again in here so this way we got three of them four of them in here and on the right side in here I can build it a fire broke out something like this because now I'm thinking where I'm gonna build this but also I want to make sure that I'm gonna have some space for the buildings so the buildings will be right in here so three will be enough yes something like this now we're gonna check with the road is it far enough to heat up those buildings so if i'm gonna place it right in here we're gonna check that yes this is enough far enough and in here on the left side we're gonna make sure that we're gonna just lead the road and this is far enough again and this for sure will be enough so i'm just gonna build the road in here so this is also in the good range and in here that one gonna be a little bit problematic as we can see there's a, not a straight road and yes this is not far enough so now i will have to adjust this a little bit to make sure that we're gonna have i'll just double check if this will increase the radius not the so far left ruins. so once we have this design as you can see i just moved a little bit to the top in here so now we have one tile missing in here and two tiles in here missing but it's okay because 
the most important thing, those two heaters are in, the, are in the range of this Arctic Lodge. And this will be the center point of our city. And before we're going to continue, we're going to need to have three items that will be put inside of this Arctic Lodge. So to have those items, we sent at the beginning of our video ships to get some additional items. And now those ships are back for sure. So we should have, as I can see, yeah, I got this ship. So we got plenty of those additional items. So I'm just going to unload everything in here. So in the trade port and also this caoutchouc as well in here. So once we got this in our trade port, and I'm just going to send this ship back to my An explosion new world. One of your factories. Yeah. Go bye bye. And we're going to take our airship. So now we got our ship airship right in here and we're gonna need 60 pieces of lost expedition scrap so I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna pick it up from our warehouse in here so I got 70 so I'm just gonna unpack everything and take that 60 so that will be 60 right now and then we're gonna need also 40 pieces of coal so I'm just gonna pick up the coal in here so 40 pieces and also we're gonna need 10 pieces of brass and also five pieces of caribou so caribou so we're going to take our ship to pick it up also for us. So we're just going to take five pieces. So we got five and we're going to send our two ships right to the alternate outpost, which is right in here, really close to us. And it's marked with this preparer on the map. So as you can see right in here, and we're going to transmute some items. So we're going to turn on the transmit menu and we're going to first take the radiator. So as you can see, it requires 10 pieces of the lost expedition scrap and also 10 pieces of brass so we got everything in here so yes we got this so we're gonna have this radiator and this will increase the workforce by 15 percent and reduce the chance of arctic flu by 30 percent so we're gonna transmit this so this is our first item then we're gonna need to have five additional caribou so we're gonna just take our ship in here take this caribou and drop it on our airship and thanks to that it's transferred to our airship we're gonna take to the transmute we're gonna take also this outdoor grill and as you can see it requires 25 pieces of lost scrap 10 pieces of coal and also five caribou meat so this is additional item that we have and also we're gonna need this zappy battery as you can see it cost 25 pieces and 30 pieces of coal so we're gonna transmute this okay so i can unpack here so those items are in the items tab in here in our trading port. So as you can see, we got this grill, we got this battery, and we have also radiator. So we're gonna use it in our Arctic Lodge. So we can actually build this right now. So this is our Arctic Lodge, and we're gonna equip this with those items. So we're gonna take radiator, we're gonna take grill, and also we're gonna take this battery. And battery will increase the range of each heater. And it will not show up in the blueprint mode, but you have to build this. So as you can see, I build this and as you can see, it is even further. So it adds additional three tiles on each of the edge. So as you can see right now, I will just pause this. And it also changed the required input from the coal to the wood. So we're going to build this on the right side as well. And I'm going to pause it right now. So they will not pick up any items. From the trading port so it's gonna require wood instead of coal so this additional good thing for us okay so now we're gonna build our city in here so we got our arctic lodge in here so now we're gonna design the city so we're gonna take the ranger station and it's gonna be close to it right in here then we're gonna also take post office and we're gonna place it right in here really close to it and now i'm gonna just think which should be yeah probably something like this so this is our design in here then we're gonna take the road and we're just gonna extend the road to check what's the furthest distance for the heater so not so far away actually right now so i'm just gonna take additional road and now we're gonna just take the explorers shelter and we're gonna check what's the biggest amount that we can have in here so i'm just gonna divide this somehow so something like this and we're gonna have the separation in here something like this and now we're just gonna extend the road on the left that's perfect so everybody's 
heat up. Yes, so I'm gonna build additional canteen in two, so we're gonna have two canteens. And remember that canteen does not require the heat, so it doesn't matter if it's in the heat area or not, so you can build it outside of everything. So this is good, and now we're gonna need also some warehouses. So we're gonna need one warehouse in here, so we got one warehouse in here, and we're gonna need one more warehouse in here, so I'm gonna place it right in here. So thanks to that, those guys are gonna bring back everything, and also this guy will bring back everything in here. So as you can see, everything is close by, and we got our city design ready. And now, before we're gonna build everything, we're gonna need to get them supplies. So now we're gonna create trade road, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. So first you're gonna go to your Arctic base, so the hot, so the place where you're producing everything at the first place. So at the hot, we're gonna take 25 pieces of timber, 8 pieces of pemmican, so the pemmican should be at the bottom, so better go to the bottom of the list, and yes, we have the pemmican, so we're gonna just take 8 pieces. Then we're gonna also take oil lamps, and the amount of oil lamps will be 6, so we're gonna take 6 oil lamps. Then we're gonna go also and take 7 sleeping bags. Alright, so we got sleeping bags, and we're gonna just reduce the amount to 7. So this is first step because we have only four cargo slots, so we can only have four items right now, and we're gonna need more items. So let's go and bring back everything in here, and of course remember to unload everything that you can. So 50. And then we're gonna use the same airship twice. So we're gonna go back to hot, and we're gonna load some more items. So we're gonna load also. We're gonna load additional 25 pieces of wood again. So we're gonna take canned food, take exactly 7 pieces of it. So 9 husky sleds. And the last thing that we're gonna go is to take schnapps. And schnapps is right in here. And we're gonna take 12 pieces of schnapps. And then we're gonna go back to Mandalorian. And we're gonna unload everything in again. Remember to unload 50 pieces of each. So this is not the end because we're gonna also make some additional stuff. Because, for example, if we're gonna have too much sleeping bags on the Mandalorian, it may happen that we're gonna accumulate on our airship. So it may happen that the item slot will be full and he will not take schnapps. And this will cause the lack of schnapps on your iceberg. So this will cause another problem so always make sure that you're gonna drop out everything that you had on the hot so we're gonna drop it out so everything that he have he gonna drop and then he gonna load new stuff he gonna go to Mandalorian and drop there in drop there everything and then he gonna go to hot and make sure that he gonna unload again everything that he was carrying before so it is like double safety to make sure that Your nothing bad gonna happen inside of this airship and thanks to that everything should be okay it's all prepared okay so why we are not giving them all the items that we are producing on the hot because i will show you that the most important items are the pemmican oil lamps canned food and also husky sleds this is to make them 100 so 20 people inside of each house and then we have the heat size so as you can see i am banning two items so Parkas, parkas, and also coffee. So we are not giving them coffee and parkas, but we are giving them the heat from the heat source, and also we got the sleeping bags and also schnapps. And this will make sure that they are on chilly state, so it's still okay. They are not freezing, they are working on 100% productivity, so this is enough and you are not wasting one material. So you can keep it and then exchange it. On another iceberg because we're gonna make two icebergs and to reach the technicals you're gonna actually need to have 72 buildings because the maximum amount that you can have with those 
pemmican and canteen will be exactly seven people so 72 multiply 7 is going to be 504 so this is the required so you're going to break the 500 limit and thanks to that you'll be able to get to the technicals it's going to be our core and then you're going to try to expand the edges to make sure that you're going to have 72 buildings so as you can see i was able to just get additional buildings around right in here so only on the edge so i will know that i will destroy them later on when i will get the technicals so as you can see they filled up to more than 500 because now we have 700s because they are filling up the oil lamps need so now we can build the post office the devil to pay. and start upgrading our people to the technicals and now it's gonna be very easy so let's just upgrade and the upgrade just cost the four pieces of timber so again make sure that you have the timber and again upgrade everyone to the technicans that are in the range of the arctic lodge so just take a look who was in the range and upgrade those buildings so right now as you can see i have 612 workforce for the technicans so actually i can start producing gas so each gas mine requires 250 of technicans so right now i can build two gas mines and I'm gonna need some more Technicans to upgrade the more. But as you can see, we are getting another level of Technicans, so thanks to that, we'll increase in numbers even more. And our goal is to get 750, so we're just gonna need to wait until those guys gonna move in and increase our numbers. <laughs> so once you're gonna unlock Husky Sleds, as you can see, it's just filling up. Everything will be beautiful for you, because as you can see, <laughs> The number of Technicans is going to increase really rapidly because it adds additional 4 and I will be able to build the last in here so yeah we got 250 so that's perfect so I got everything done in here and all of the gas mines are working up on 200, 300 actually almost efficiency so they are building up so that's perfect for me right now and because i got everything done in here now i can make small optimization so here is fully optimized city as you can see every building is inside of the range of the arctic lodge and the final figure will be 45 buildings you can check the amount of buildings by going to the warehouse to the statistic and then in the finance tab you will have the information how many technicans buildings you have so 45 no, buildings so this is our final goal, so in the first phase we had 72 explorers shelter, which then we were upgrading to the technicans, and once we reach the enough amount of technicans to supply all the gas mines with the workforce, we were able to reduce the number to just 45 buildings. And as you can see, we still have 32 technicans on surplus, and this is left because sometimes it may happen that we're gonna have arctic flu or maybe some fire, so the number will drop and thanks to that if we have some surplus we'll still have some safe space for our technicans so those mines will fully work on 100 percent or actually 300 percent productivity and of course don't forget about the canteens i have two canteens you can place as many as you want but remember that they, they will cost some upkeep costs so minus 90 every time so also add some additional ranger station because it was too high probability of fire so thanks to that now i have just moderate and very low chance for arctic flu okay so i got my airship in here and i'm gonna load 25 pieces of lost expedition scrap i'm gonna also need fish 10 pieces of caoutchouc also 15 pieces of steel so we are at the old mates we're gonna transmute and we're gonna take from the airship items so this is the normal list we're gonna filter it by airship items and we're gonna take this additional item which will increase our speed and also reduce the cargo slowdown by additional 100 percent so we're gonna transmute this and this will go to our slot in here yeah straight away so thanks to that we got really good stuff because we got plus 20 movement speed and here we got additional plus 15 and reduce cargo slowdown so this means that our sh airship gonna move really fast and if you don't have this legendary item you want to have this item which will also increase the loading speed by 50% and reduce 
additional cargo slowdown by minus 100%, or you can actually have this one, which will increase the movement speed. It's up to you which one you're gonna choose. And I'm gonna actually create new trade road, which is Arctic to the Cape Town. And right now I have only the ship, because I want to show you what's the difference in speeds. So if I'm gonna take my Neptune's gift and also add him, you're gonna see that the speed is a big and actually huge difference between those two. The ship is moving like a goddamn turtle, and this airship is moving really super fast. This is amazing how fast this airship is moving. <laughs> it's like three times or even four times the normal ship. So I'm gonna also try to settle up this second iceberg in here. So as you can see, it has even Diff more difficult design because it's really weird off and I will try to make the city in here and once again I'm gonna right mouse click and I will choose the Arctic Lodge so I will be able to plan so this will be the space that I will need for the city and to have this Arctic Lodge in this space actually I will have to go to some city so for example in here mouse right mouse click and go to the buildings and you can just grab and place any building into this wheel so for example I can have instead of sawmill I can have cannery in here or post office or for example of course so let's like this and I was looking for the Arctic Lodge yeah so I can have Arctic Lodge in here I can have you can you can customize this wheel whatever and however you want so I will go back to my Arctic and probably I'm gonna doing here something like this so arctic lodge somewhere in somewhere in here probably and thanks to that i'll be able to place one heater in here and one somewhere in the area so in here so it will be far enough to power up this and this and i will make my main base somewhere in here so far away because i'm not gonna build any city in here i'm just gonna need to have the heater in here and this base will be acting as a source of, as a warehouse. So they will be able to pick up the we stuff in here and bring unknown. back the stuff in here as well. And then I will just connect everything with the road right in here. And now I'm just gonna quickly go and make the same thing with this icy geonosis. So I have here Arctic Lodge ready, so I will equip it with the same items. So grill, then battery, and also this radiator. Okay, so I will do this, and then once this is done, I am able to actually check if everything's here. Okay, yeah, and I can just upgrade and build all the buildings. So then canteens and normal procedures. So first upgrading all the buildings that I could. Seventy-two buildings. So you're gonna need exactly forty-seven technical buildings to unlock Husky Sled. So once you're gonna get 47 of them you're gonna reach 5 750 technicans and after that you unlock husky sleds which will allow you to increase the number of technicans in each building which means that you will have much bigger values of them 
and then you will be able to reduce the amount of explorers in your city. So I move canteen to the center because those two buildings in the center was unable to get the full bonus from the canteen. So thanks that I was able to upgrade everyone in here. And once I reach every 250, then I was able to just destroy all the rest of the buildings of the explorers. Just to make sure that I have zero of them. And I have only Tekken guns in my city. So we got outpost also status. So I move canteens inside. As you can see, I move them, relocate them a little bit. And thanks to that, I have exactly 45 of Technicans. So if we're going to go to the finance, we're going to see 45 Technican buildings. And also you can check the population. And in the tab in here in the residence, you will see that you have Technicans. And then you can check if there are any building that is missing. For example, this one, 19 only. And why is it? 19. So maybe they, he's still moving in. What's the cost? And of course, don't forget to prohibit it, those items that you are not supporting to them. So as you can see, even the fact that they don't have sleeping bags, they are still chilly, so the, it's comfort zone for them. So you don't have to worry about much that. And as you can see, thanks to that, I am able to get some extra 46 gas in just a few minutes. So in a few minutes, I just set up second base. And thanks to that, I am now, now I can just adjust... The Arctic Cape because also as you can see I am collecting gold from my hot just to check this and now I can go and also load at make additional stop for my Neptune so I'll make Snoke and I'm just gonna move it to the top so first he's gonna go to Mandalorian he's gonna pick up the gas in here and then he gonna load also gas in here so the gas should be somewhere in here, yeah. So we're gonna pick up every gas that we have in here. And then we're gonna unload this in the new hope. So this is how it looks right now. So with the gold deposits, I have them in the hut. Because I was thinking that why not, let's try to get some additional gold for my cities. So there are two gold deposits in here. So I am extracting the gold in here. And another one in here next to the goose farms. So that was the last point. And as you can see, really quickly, I was able to set up another base on the hot, <laughs> on the iceberg. And it is working very well. And don't forget to add additional, of course, ranger station to lower the danger and possibility of those nasty fires and arctic flu. And thanks to the items, don't forget that those items are also reducing the possibility of the arctic flu so minus 40 and minus 30 so in the total minus 70 and all those buildings are in the range as you can see so i bring them back a little bit more to the center and this is the final design yeah on my second iceberg you will see that i'm giving them even less and it's still chilly plus eight total heat so i'm only giving them the heat and only the schnapps and it's still comfortable for them to leave. So it's up to you what you're gonna do. I am cutting the supplies in here just to make the optimal option. And with the trade rows, I'm gonna show you the final figures again. We have plus 35, then 8, 6, 12, and then we have 20, 7, and 9. So these are the final figures. And if you have two icebergs, you'll be able to see that in my Cape Trilony. In Cape Trilony, I have right now 403 surplus of the gas and I have just one gas station. So as you can see, it will handle more than one gas station. So three or probably four. So two icebergs are able to handle about three to four gas fire power plant. Okay, so I think that's it. I hope that this will be very useful for you. And I hope that you're gonna build up some gas fire station right away. Because as you can see, if you got the proper way, you don't need much to build the proper city on the iceberg. And then got plenty of stuff, plenty of gas and build up some more airships or even get some 
gas-fired power plant working in your cities. So that's it boys and girls, thanks a lot for watching, I hope that you had some fun with me, and I hope that we're gonna meet each other next time. So boys and girls, have a wonderful day, and if you're watching this at night, then good night. See you next time.